So today we are plowing our corn um, using a little contraption Dad has made using some little springy plowy thingies. I know there's correct terms for that, but they were invented in like the 1900s and you know, I'm not a big history fan. So, we got that little bar thing in the front that has the two outside thingies on it. I don't know what you call those. And then, that really old red thing that was made out of my granddad's something. It was really terrifying to be wa to watch it be made because they were welding and everything. It, it was really scary. But hey, if it works to plow our corn, then that's great. Here we go. Seems to be working pretty well. You got one line right next to this row of corn and one next to the other. Over here. Our potatoes may reap some of the benefits of this as well. This is the true test of tractor driving ability right here. How well can you turn around and go right back down a row? Especially with a fence right now. Yeah, especially with the fence. <laughs> Yeah, I think we just hit the fence. That's okay. That's why there's the fence there. It's not for rabbits. It's to protect our seemingly lesser vegetables from the tractor. Well, anyway, I give Dad a pretty good grade on that. He did better than I would have. This corn is just barely short enough. Houston, we have a problem. Some of our roots may have been damaged by these little springy deals. It's probably because I don't know what they're called. Hey, Dad, what do you call those springy things? Uh, uh, well, formally they're called S tines. Um, we had another name for them. And I can't think of it. All right. I'll get back to you. Okay. Our potatoes that started out with those weird extreme growths on them are now seemingly doing pretty okay. They're a little uneven, I guess you could say, especially over here in those two rows, but most of them seem to be growing pretty well. Dad seems to be having a little bit of problems keeping the S tines. Hey, guess what? They look like an S. They seem to be off center. See, it's twisted. But it's okay because Bob's here. He'll get it fixed. We also have anotherly, another neighborly guest appearance. What do you think's going on? I think you should be out here with a hoe. That's very true. I should. <laughs> Well, I'll go get my hoe. Over here, the veggie garden's doing pretty well. Our cabbage are looking really good, except that these got a little uh, holes in them. I'm not really sure what that's from, but that's doing okay. Uh, let's see, we got the green onions down there. They're going a little wild. It's kind of crazy. And radishes. No, wait, these are potatoes. These are still those little fingerling potatoes. And these are radishes and then half lettuce here. I don't know what's going on with them. Our zucchini here looking pretty good. And then we got like lettuces and kale and spinach. They must be late risers or something. We got beets. Beets are, you know, keeping up with the beet. Huh cabbages. 
Eggplants and peppers. Is that kale here? They're doing pretty well. No, those are beets. Oh. And then our sugar snap peas, the real stars of the show back here. And behind that, our cucumbers. Doing pretty well. Probably would like some more sun, but I mean, we don't all get what we want, so it'll be okay. So, so Dad, how did you uh, think that went? Well, I think overall it was a failure. Yeah? It's not going to get the Catrille approved. Not going to get the Catrille approved stamp? stamp? It won't this time. Uh, and it had to do, I think, with the, the uh, back tines being back so far that it was hard to keep straight. And every little turn I made made a major difference being back so far. That was part of it. Uh, in fact, probably the most part of it. And the other part of it is we don't have very much corn, so every stock that we happen to mess up is uh, pretty major. Yeah. So it was uh, tearing out some of the roots, right? It was. I don't think that corn will die. We'll, we'll probably water it here a little bit after a while just to make sure, but I don't think it'll die. Uh, but it it certainly didn't do it any, any favors. Oh. So. Do you have any suggestions for next time? Uh, Probably use a tiller. Use a tiller, all right. I think you ought to ask Bob what he might think about it. He might have a better idea than me. All right, well, what do you think, Bob? Take your other tiller and put a rope on it and have Catrille pull it. Well, that's uh, that doesn't get the Catrille approval stamp either. No? no. Oh, it, it, it'll work good. It might work well, but I'm not sure I like that plan. I don't think it'd be that hard. Well, not for you. So, our next our next plan is to take those inside two shovels off, the ones that are causing us the problem, and to experiment a little bit with the disc hillers and see how that's going to work with the potatoes. All right. So I think that'll I think it'll work a little better because we're going to be further from the rows. And, uh, I'm protecting the potatoes. Christy's oh gonna yeah, mom's gonna keep the potatoes safe. So. <clears throat> All right, well, we'll get back to our potatoes in a little while.